Howdy friends and neighbors, it's old Dale Collins coming to you again today on behalf of Presidential Gardens Backyard Nursery. It's quite an honor to be able to put this video out to show you folks that have bought or are thinking about buying our blackberry cuttings, uh, how that, uh, one of the main ways that nurseries actually root them. And so we're going to take this little video and do this, but I want to remind you that this same technique that we use uh, will work for blackberries, raspberries, elderberries, figs, it'll work for crepe myrtles, and a whole lot of different other types of plants that you're making cuttings on. So we have some blackberry cuttings today that we're going to make, and wh what you need is your cuttings, and I'm gonna assume that you have probably ordered them from us and we have shipped them to you, and you'll need uh, probably some way of cutting them and uh, we have some uh, cutters here and you want to clean these with alcohol or peroxide or something that will clean them real good so you don't put disease and scatter it from plant to plant and uh, then uh, something very important is that you want to tag uh, or label your cuttings now people think oh I can I'll remember I'll remember but if you're doing lots of them like we do, it's, it's hard to remember. So the variety that we're doing today is Navajo. And so I have printed, pre-printed out a label and we're going to put it on here so that we will know without any shadow of doubt because nobody wants to go to a nursery and buy uh, blackberry plants or any other type of plant where they don't know uh, exactly what they are. So we're gonna have a container and this is just one way of doing it. It's a container and it's mixed with some fine potting soil and it's also mixed with sand. So sand or a real fine potting soil uh, will work. What you're wanting to make cuttings is uh, some type of medium that it will drain through and drain on out. They can't have soggy feet, they'll rot. And then we want to have it to where the water again will drain out and you keep it moist but it, it can't just be soggy. And so we have uh, six uh, blackberry cuttings that we have picked out because uh, that is what uh, our main order is, I believe, on the blackberries that we're selling. Again, this will work for figs, for blueberries as well. Now you can or cannot do this, it's up to you, but we recommend that you take them and uh, that when you get your order in, that you reclip off the ends so they'll be fresh. And uh, so we're just gonna take just a little bit off of the top and a little bit off of the bottom. And I'm not gonna do all these because I just cut them 10 minutes ago. But that way you'll need to do that when it's fresh. Everybody does it different, but the way we're gonna start doing ours is the top part, we're gonna leave a little bit on here to where you can hold on to it like that. And you see this top bud here is where your top leaves are gonna bud out at. And you don't want to grab a hold of that with your fingers or smash it. You want to leave it uninjured so that it will grow because this is where your plant is likely gonna grow out at. On the bottom end of it uh, that you're gonna actually plant, then we're going to have it cut on an angle. And you see me cut it there and it's cut on an angle and the reason simply for that is so that you know that is the one that goes down. So we have here uh, our looks like a two gallon pot. Uh, the grandsons brought me a big spike around. And we're simply going to stick that spike in here like this. And now we're going to take our knife and you can or cannot do this. It's up to you. It's your choice. But a lot of people like to do it and simply scrape down the sides on the bottom two or three inches of, of your uh, blackberry plant. So you'll simply take your cutting that, that we've scraped the sides. And the purpose for scraping the side is just like your hand. When you scratch or bump your hand, it produces a scab and it begins to grow over. And it's the same with these blackberry cuttings, same with all cuttings. And therefore, when they begin to scab over, they will begin to grow roots. Now, you don't have to use rooting hormone, but if you want to, you can use it. 
Honey works real well, it's organic, uh, but you can have just regular root and hormone. Uh, typically, you will just uh, put it down in there and cover it up and get it on it a little bit. And uh, if unless you're doing a bunch of them, it's highly recommended that you separate out some of your root and hormone and use it in a separate container so that you don't, again, spread disease. In the nursery a business and with uh, plants, even in your own personal situation, you don't want to spread disease from one plant to the next. And so there's just a little bit left in this, so I'm not going to do that, but you need to keep that in mind. Get a good shot over here, Jesse. We're going to stick this down in this hole that we've made with this spike. And we're going to stick this thing down about uh, three or four inches. And we're just going to close it up. And that's it. We're going to do one more. Again, we've done scraped it. And uh, we're going to put these about two inches apart. Jesse's going to get another good shot. And we're going to bury some of those nodes down in there because that's what's going to root out. Now, we're going to fill this whole entire pot full of Navajo blackberries. We're also going to do Arapahoes today as well. And uh, we'll probably do some figs, some blueberries, and elderberries, and all kind of things we'll certainly be doing in the months to come. We've already been doing hundreds of them. And then, once you're uh, finished with get them in the pot, then you're going to uh, wet them down really, really good. And this comes to the interesting part. If you have a little greenhouse like we do, you can put them in the greenhouse and they will work very, very well in there. We like to put ours in there because it's uh, warm and uh, they root a lot faster. And also it's got irrigation that sprays on them every day so we don't have to. But I have raised hundreds of these right here on these tables behind me by leaving these pots out all through the winter and come next spring, they will start sprouting out and we'll have rooted and we'll have baby blackberry plants. And so again, you can put them inside in a greenhouse where it's warm and you can water them and or you can leave them outside, either one, either way, but you're going to have to water them periodically to keep them moist. And if you do that, you're going to get some blackberry plants. And so this is Dale Collins with Presidential Gardens Backyard Nursery. And if there's any questions that you have, if you'll private message me on Facebook or email me or make your comments right there on the videos and various different platforms, I'll do my best this time as I can to get to you and try to help. But this is how that you root uh, blackberry cuttings. And make your own plants from cuttings. And the purpose for this is these are going to come back exactly like the plant, the mother plant. These are Navajos, so they're going to come back Navajos because they're actually a cut off of the mother plant. That's why we grow them from cuttings rather than from seed. Dale Collins here from Presidential Gardens saying thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Well, it's Dale Collins back with you to wrap up another video and to say thanks for watching. But before we let you go, let me remind you that there's at least five things that I can think of that you can do to help this channel as we continue to grow and reach out to people across the country and around the world. And the first one is to hit that like button. If you like this video, if it's been a help and blessing to you, hit the like button. Go ahead and do it right there. Bam, that's it. And then the second one you can do is to share this video. If you have other people that are like-minded and are, have the same interests that you think these videos would be a help and a blessing to, I want to personally encourage you to share these videos with them. And then, of course, the other thing is to comment. We encourage you to comment. Put your comments down below, and I'll do my best to get back with you just as quick as I possibly can. And then there's that real fun one, the real interesting one, and that is the little bell notification button. Ding, ding, ding. Make sure that you hit it up there, and that way you will be notified uh, when we come out with new videos. And, and, of course, the other one is to make sure you have personally subscribed to this channel. 
And that all you do there is simply hit that subscribe button. I'm not for sure where it is on that screen or where it is, but somewhere you'll find it there. And you hit that subscribe button and it'll be all right. Listen, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Thank you.